Howdy SEO Moz fans, and welcome to this special edition of SMX Whiteboard Friday. No whiteboards, it's not Friday, but we do have <laughs> Dwayne Forrester of Bing. Yes. Dwayne, thank, thank you, you so much for Pleasure joining us. Pleasure to be back. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So Bing's doing some really awesome stuff. First off, gaining searches, yep. gaining some market share, yep. putting out some kick-ass new features. Absolutely. So uh, there's three things we want to talk about. The first of them is... Tell me about this new Bing Facebook integration. It happened about three weeks ago, and now I'm yep. seeing, you know, I do a search and I'll see this friend and this friend and this friend shared this on Facebook, and so did 312 other people. Yeah, it's um, it's a really keen thing, right? I mean, this is uh, this is an opportunity. Uh, we realize that people make decisions, and they generally want feedback from their friends. Totally. So, you know, you're looking to buy a cordless drill, and you want to know... You know, well, what's the best one, right? And as these searches come up, if your friends are connected in this network and there's feedback on this, then results will come up annotated with people that have liked a particular product or liked a post or liked a, an event they've gone to or a location they may have been at. So this is like a it's sort of a social proof thing, right? It, there's yeah. this psychological element. Is there also a ranking element? Like if, if you see things that people are liking a lot on Facebook or if my friends have liked something on Facebook, does that mean that it might be higher in my results in Bing? Yeah, no. Okay. Um, no. So, so I could tell you that the social annotations does they do not change the ranking. Okay. Gotcha. Even based on a personalization algorithm. Right. Okay. Now, what can happen, however, is we can expand real estate on the page to show something for you. Okay. Okay. So the stack of ten that would normally show up would be there, and we may show something within the middle of that page that's a social annotation from one of your friends that was against a result that was buried in the results farther back. Ah, okay. So something so, new might pop exactly, in. Exactly. Exactly. And the intent there again is to draw attention to the fact that your social network has an opinion on something. You're trying to make a decision. Your social network is willing to help you make that decision. We can showcase this information. Fascinating. Yeah. Very cool. And yeah. are, does Bing have any plans to include other potential networks? You know, a, a Twitter, a, you know, other stuff like this? Well, we actually do integrate Twitter data now, right? Oh, okay. So if you were to do a, um, uh, a search, for example, on Hulu, okay. and you would actually see a result come up for Hulu that's very customized for Hulu. We pull in a lot of information, include their including their current tweet status. So anything mm. Hulu's tweeting out, we're going to see. You're going to see that at the bottom of the results, okay? It's an enhanced result at the top of the page. Right, we include that these, data. Yeah. That's okay? very cool. Um, beyond that, there's not much I can really talk about on, okay. on the future facing. But, Sorry. But, but maybe you like the social annotation, maybe it might have legs. If it does, it might go other places. Maybe the users are setting direction and we follow. All right. So yeah. if you guys like it, <laughs> exactly. then Dwayne will make it happen. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not quite what I said, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it works. I, I, I make it works. It's correlation, right? It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's the cause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the second thing that's really interesting that, that came out, uh, cooperated with a couple other companies, yes. uh, Yahoo and Google, yep. to come out with this new schemas.org. Or yes. Schema, I'm not... Schema.org. Schema.org. This is what I've been telling myself what it is. Uh, yeah. and, and so with schemas, I can now uh, add some rich metadata yes. to on-page content to right. help tell the engines more about what it is. It's sort of like right. micro formats or RDFA, but it's a, a different format, and it's supported by all the engines. Okay, so we, we have a few things to cover here. Okay, okay. okay. here we go. Um, Schema.org is a partnership. It's much like um, sitemap.org yeah. or robot.txt. It's protocol. Or no follow. Right, exactly. So all three of the engines agree on it. The major engines have come on board this. Um, we support, in this schema, we support micro formats, uh, microdata, and RDFA. We don't care which you choose to use. That is totally your choice. We support them all. In fact, if you're already using Facebook's Open Graph, we still support that as well. Okay? <laughs> so it's not an either or choice here. We're not trying to dictate investment for a website. What we are saying, however, is help us understand your content better, yep. deeper. So Rand mentioned metadata to describe things. And it's really important at this point that we describe what we're talking about. Because the metadata we're referencing is not meta tags, <laughs> right. as a lot of people want to think about immediately. Yes, yes. What we're talking about is these little, they are tags, and they're descriptions. So the metadata is actually a description of, for example, a video or an image or a product. So remember, when the crawler shows up on your website, we don't really see the video itself. We don't really see the image itself. You're not going to watch the video to try and pull exactly. out what that is. Yeah, yeah. The rich snippet allows you to say, hey, there's, a, there's a, a video of this beautiful man in a blue t-shirt talking with some other guy, and they're talking about things I don't understand. Now, that, you can put all of that 
into your rich snippet tag. Hmm. So when the crawler comes through and consumes your code, it says, wow, look at that. This page is marked up. They've done some extra work on here. Now, what is this video about? Oh, it's about two wackos talking about something weird somewhere. Blue shirt, schema.org. Exactly. Gotcha. And so you can actually, we pull that data out and we understand. So now when somebody does a search on an engine and says, I'm looking for some wacky guy in a blue shirt on video. Right, right, right. You know what? We may realize then that the video is the best answer. When we take the video back to serve the answer, along with that comes your web page, your navigation, and everything else. So schema.org allows you to tell us very specific things. If you want to see an example in action, yeah. do a search on something like Avatar Movie on Bing. Okay. And you will see what are called tiles in action from uh, websites like IMDB and yep. Rotten Tomatoes. And what this does is allows IMDB to actually put data in via these tags okay. on the rating of the show, on their with their logo, click actions that are included there, which can go to a different location than the organic result. Okay, so these rich snippets enable all of this to happen. All right. So what I've been telling people every show I go to, this is something you need to start considering investing in. You got to start getting this into your dev pipeline and figuring out when well, you're going to implement it. Early adopters can get outsized exactly. returns because exactly. they'll be the first ones to have always this data. the same case. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And because the formats are ver uh, there's a variety of formats, you can mark up pretty much anything any way you want, and we'll be able to consume it. And Dwayne, just to be totally clear, is this an element that could influence rankings, or is this just an element that an element that influences? Like the snippet, the, the the look and feel of the UI and the search results, right? Those kinds of things. So right now, this is a signal, okay? Okay. But the main portion, the main detail we get from this is understanding the content. Uh -huh. that's, so this that's is like our a, main... another way to deliver content. Right. Exactly. It's, it's a way to describe the content, right? So instead of looking at the internet as a series of URLs that have content appended under them, we actually are now able to catalog the internet as a series of pieces of content that are related to each other. Mm -hmm. And these tags will help us understand the relationship. Okay? Makes, sense. Makes it a lot easier for us long term. It's really the only way to be able to keep up with the explosive growth of the internet. And it puts the control of the content management in the hands of the website. You guys control it. Gotcha. So, as Rand said, early adopters tend to see a rise in things, and over time, it's a signal for us. Very, very cool. Yeah. So this is this is fascinating. There's now like these two new ways: these schema.org stuff, yep, and the the social stuff of getting things into Bing Absolutely. or on the front page that might not have been there before. Absolutely. That Plus, awesome. when you look at the social component, there's also an overlap here of you being an influencer of your network, okay, or your network being an influencer of you. So um, I recently did a search for, um, uh, oh, what was it, um, brunch in Hawaii. And never been to Hawaii, no idea where to go, wouldn't know it if I looked brunch it up. Brunch is the best meal of the week. Right. Exactly. So but I know I don't want to miss it because, you know, it's brunch. Um, so I really didn't have any frame of reference. Now, I can go to the usual review websites, and that's fantastic. But I'd really rather have my friends tell me who've been there yep. that they like it. Yep, we yep, see that yep, data yep. coming in from Facebook. So and the so people can... that came back were people that told me that they went to this brunch and it was outstanding. I'm done. I, I don't need to look any further because I really don't know what I don't know. And this is enough for my network to help me understand it's a safe choice. Makes total sense. Yeah. Awesome. So one uh, last thing that I'd love to cover just today, just yep. this morning or late yep. last night, yep. you rolled out this Honey Badger update. Honey Badger cares. <laughs> that's, that's not what I hear. <laughs> oh. I, think, I think someone's going to tweet something different to you. Uh, but so this Honey Badger update includes actually a lot of stuff in Bing Webmaster Tools. Now, is this an yes. algorithmic update as well? No. This um, is just this a Webmaster is strictly tool. Bing Webmaster Tools. OK. OK. Um, essentially, what we've done is we've rolled out an entire new content suite. So I spent the last two months writing SEO help content for everybody. That's what I've been up That's to. That's kind of nice of you. Yeah, you know. We appreciate <laughs> it. It's kind of what I do. Um, so we have all new help content. We have um, we cover everything. SEO, does link it, building. Does it say more than write good content? Yes, as a matter of fact. I have a different message than just that, although that features prominently. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> um, we cover all kinds of topics in there, even topics like um, you know, how to view our data, and how to interpret the data, mm. and how to find the data, and how to use the tool set. So there's all kinds of that, that very helpful information. One of the things that was most exciting to me was this new sort of Index Explorer. Yeah. Can you tell, me, tell me what is Index Explorer doing? Um, index Explorer is essentially taking a snapshot of your website in, in the Bing Index and everything we know about it and bringing it into one module. 
So you will click on it. You will see a treed uh, scenario yep. with your domain, your root domain, and then the folders and everything else underneath it. If you click on anything in there, it will bring up a pop-up window that will tell you when we indexed it, what kind of header response code we're getting. Um, so an HTTP code that's being returned. Um, it will allow you tools to block a URL, block the cache version of it, mm. that kind of thing. Um, it will show you how many links, external links, are pointed at that. And if you click on that, it will then list the domains that are linking to you, the URLs, and the anchor text, wow. that kind so of do thing. You have a, do you have separate counts of links and linking domains? Uh, no, it's actually um, it's actually the URL level. That's what we're looking at. Ah, OK, right? URL so you, level. you will see them stacked. It's obvious the domain is there. That's right. it. And everything is exportable. So oh, fantastic. if you end up in a scenario where, like my own websites, you have a signature on a form that you go to, and you see you know, 1,400 of those, you want to filter them out, just do a sort in Excel and drop them. And then it's easy to manage. Um, so we got that. That is fantastic. Our essential investment in that has been on the back end to make yep. sure that the data is robust and that um, things are much faster. And this is the same return. stuff that you guys use in the main Bing index. Yes, like it, this it is, is serving the same data. Is. The Webmaster Tools actually pulls from Bing Search Core. That's where we get our information from. That's awesome. Okay. That's so great. you guys are seeing it directly in there. A couple of other really cool features: um, crawl settings. Yes. Right. Yep, yep. So you want to tell Bing when to crawl, how hard to crawl, how soft to crawl. Not a problem. Drag and drop across the graph. Set it based on your time frame against your server and against the load so you know exactly when your users get your bandwidth and you tell us to stay away. Then when it's dormant, there's no one around your website, you're in bed, you're dreaming, you tell us, come on in and crawl it all. Mm -hmm. Totally in your control now. And if you've got Ajax components in the site, you can actually check a box and give us a heads up. It's an Ajax website. We can crawl it slightly differently, but oh. it gives us the heads up. So now we know when we see characters and we see certain things, how to interpret so this that. is like the the right. hash bang or exactly you see we know how to interpret yeah, yeah. this stuff now right huh. it's not just some random thing that's in there it's there for a purpose um, so you can do that in the crawl settings uh, role management role management I didn't yeah. see that one. role management role management's awesome so you um, validate one account and then tell oh. people yeah come on in here's your permission this is my consultant and here's your I want level him to see. of it right so specifically for consultants and agencies this is fantastic because you guys will actually be able to go now, validate one account, and then bring your clients into this environment and actually say, okay, this is your account in Webmaster Tools. You are going to have read-only data. You can see everything, but you can't change the settings. We don't want That's you blocking you anything. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Or if you're in your company, maybe you want to have senior management read everything, but you only want a handful of people having read-write authority. Sure, okay? makes sense. Anyone can go pull reports, but only a few people can twiddle the knobs and pull the switches. Right? Sure. Um, so that's pretty cool. And as always inside the tool, there's a direct pipeline submission for URLs. So if you want to make sure you get one of your URLs directly into mm. the Bing index, you can submit it. 10 per day, 50 a month is the limit. Oh. But you can stick can it I, in and it bypasses everything and goes direct to the index. Can I do that for a URL you've already crawled if I'm like, oh, I updated this and Bing hasn't seen the new one, I really want them to see the new one? Yes, you can do that. That's fantastic. Yes, that's, that's fantastic. it. And if you do it with something that we already know about and it's kind of a duplicate, then we just kind of, eh. You, know, you already know it. Nice try. Dwayne, these are awesome updates. I yeah. really, really appreciate it. Thank you for being so transparent, sharing Absolutely. so much with us, and we hope you'll join us again. Absolutely, Rand. And I want to give a big shout out to the Bing Webmaster Tools oh, team yeah. because those guys, Great job, guys did amazing work. So thanks, guys. Phenomenal. Take care, everyone.